Hello, beautifuls. Hello, hello. So I felt to come on today and talk about chronic fatigue and what chronic fatigue teaches us. So what I have learned from journeying with this quote unquote mysterious illness, which I do not believe is really mysterious at all, but is guiding us home to our truth and our love and our vitality one sensation at a time is many things and uh, uh, I, I, I just realized that I meant to say I'm Ellie Pascal if we haven't met before I'm a somatic soul coach and I support courageous beings to create lives that truly feel the way that you came here to feel by following the guidance in your body. And yes, this piece of chronic fatigue, what's really come into HT for me today is the piece of much of what we experience when we have this quote unquote bad heaviness or bad tiredness in our bodies is not a bad thing at all. It's the feminine speaking through us. It's Mama Gaia asking us to let go and drop in and be present with the softness in our beings. What I have seen from day one with this, and really I've been journeying with these experiences in my body for about 15 years is the fatigue actually comes from a resistance. A resistance to letting go, a resistance to being held by Mother Earth, to being truly in my power, to being truly in my center, in my womb, in my feet, in my legs and in synergistic relationship with the energies of the earth. When I give in to her, I have a incredible, unlimited flow of energy. And it's reciprocal with the earth. We give energy to her when we relinquish and let ourselves be heavy, and she gives it to us at the same time. But for so many centuries, if not millennia, us humans, and particularly those who identify as women, we've not been dropping into our power or in our bodies. We have been almost guided and supported through fear of being in our own strength and our own knowings and being connected to what we feel when we are fully grounded in our own beings, which is we feel the knowings in our heart spaces. We feel the knowings in our bellies. We feel the knowings in our wombs or in our horrors. And it's been easier in this patriarchal world not to feel those knowings because they give us information that tell us a lot about this world that we live in does not serve us. And we have largely stayed safe and just been able to cope and carry on in the world which has demonized the divine feminine attributes, which has told us you don't get to be cyclical, you don't get to rest, you don't get to be intuitive, you don't get to be emotional, it's not okay. So to deal with a world which has told us this, we have basically cut off from our guidance system which says, no, what is happening in this world? The being I'm being told to be, the way I'm being told that I have to show up is not okay. This is not okay. But for many of us, it's not been the right lifetime to live a revolutionary life. Um, we're not all the Pankhursts who, who were willing to let everything you know go in order to truly be in our integrity and that's okay. But so many are now living in a lifetime when it is time for this. Like we are over any kind of pretense. We are over living according to anything that does not flow the moonbeams of our truth in our soul. So that's why many of us are experiencing this fatigue because it is time for us to drop in and truly feel our inner guidance. And this means a dropping down into the earth, a dropping down into our power, a rooting into our boots, a connection with Gaia. And we resist this because basically we've been resisting this for 
many lifetimes and in our ancestral lineage the somatic patterns that we've learned from our mother our grandmother our father our as it's been passed through the generations um we've learned not to be grounded because they weren't and that's okay so when the body starts to ask us because it's time for the soul to let go and drop in and be empowered it feels strange and we'll resist it we say no to the gravity that's pulling us down and that creates the fatigue and so often what we experience when we're in a, a state of chronic fatigue is this tired and wired feeling we might feel exhausted but we don't feel soft or restful we don't feel in our parasympathetic nervous system which is the part of our system that's active when we're resting we feel exhausted but we're like zing um and so the invitation this the main invitation that i'm offering to you if you're journeying with uh chronic fatigue to any degree is to give in to the tiredness, to see it as your friend, to give in to the gravitational pull that's asking you to let go, relinquish, trust, be soft. And to see where that leads you. Right? To see where that leads you. Because softening will always lead you to having more connection to the guidance in your body. And that's always the path of magic. That's always the path of your joy and your aliveness. And if you would like to connect more with me about what's happening in your body, uh, you are most welcome to download the Being With The Body With Love practice, which is available on my website. You can go to elliepascal.com and click on the more tab and find the somatic practice download. And this will support you to tune into your body and hear her guidance. And if you would like to find out how you can work with me one-to-one -one as a coach, you can go to my website and go to the somatic coaching page. And if you're on my Instagram, all of these are available through the link in my bio right there on my link tree. But you can go to my somatic coaching page and you can schedule a discovery call for, with me. This is without charge and you can feel into how your body is guiding you, how you're truly wanting to show up with joy and vitality and in alignment with your freaking soul and who you freaking are in your life and discover how it feels to be coached by me and discover how I can support you as a coach going forward if that feels aligned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so again, if you're on my Instagram, you can find the links to the free practice or to my somatic coaching page through my Instagram bio. And if you're not on Instagram, if you're on YouTube, you can go to the links beneath this video. If you just feel like going to elliepascal.com, you can, and you'll find all the tabs there on my website. It's so lovely to connect with you, and I will see you soon. Grrrr.